Face Off Challenge, Swarm Lord versus a Wraith Knight. Hey everyone, welcome to the finale of the first season's Face Off Tournament. I'm excited to see who's going to win this tournament. As always, my name is Jay, and we have the two finalists representing the free content, the Wraith Knight. Representing the Warp, we have the Swarm Lord. Now, a couple things I should go over before we begin, of course. It's really interesting that, it, maybe it's a coincidence, maybe not, that the two most expensive models got to the finals. That being said, the third most expensive model in this tournament got eliminated round one. So, interesting stuff there. Um, so we have the two most expensive models coming at 295 points. We have the Wraith Knight, souped, uh, just give him a sword and shield. And we have at 285 points, or 280 points, uh, we have the Swarm Lord. So, really expensive models, they were able to go through the competition, they got lucky and survived, and now they're in the finals against each other, people. This is the exciting part. So the question is, who will win today? I don't know. The Wraith Knight has been really hard to stop lately, but maybe the Swarm Lord will be the one to stop him. Because, let's go over the stats quickly. The Swarm Lord has weapon skill 9, which is over twice the weapon skill of the Wraith Knight. So the Wraith Knight will be hitting on 5s, not 4s, Master Crafted. We'll see if the fives actually come into play, because that decreases, you know, the chances of hitting the Swarm Lord. Once again, Strength D against the Swarm Lord. The Swarm Lord does have a four up invulnerable save in close combat. And then the, and the Raid Knight gets four attacks. Then the Swarm Lord go, actually gets to go first at higher initiative, initiative six. So he gets to go before the Wraith Knight, gets five attacks, hitting on threes. Now this is the part that gets really kind of tricky, is whether or not to smash with the Swarm Lord. And the weird thing about this is, this is one of those weird circumstances, it actually doesn't matter statistically. Um, if you get five attacks, you get five attacks, hit on threes, wounding on sixes due to strength six versus toughness eight. However, if you smash, you only get one attack, hitting on threes, wounding on twos. So either you get five times more attacks, or you get five times the probability of wounding. So they actually balance out each other perfectly. So in this one, we're thinking we're going to go for broke, because we might as well risk it and see if you can get multiple sixes, because it is instant death. So the Wraith Knight will get only get a 5-up invulnerable save, but will not get Feel No Pain against the attacks of the Swarm Lord. And they do D3 damage against the Wraith Knight, because he's a gargantuan. So if you get lucky, you could actually kill the Wraith Knight with the Swarm Lord. So the Swarm Lord actually does have a chance. The problem is, after he attacks, he then has to withstand the D, and then has to withstand the stomp. So it's going to be weird. But I should mention, we're going to do a best of seven, because it is the finals. We decided to do a best of seven to make it epic. And yeah, that's why. It's the finals. You might as well do a best of seven. So that's it. So we have the Swarm Lord versus the Wraith Knight. It's going to be super exciting. Let's see who wins in this week's finale face-off challenge. Ta-da! 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 Finals, ta-da! <laughs> and then there were two. Finals! Finals! Here we go, people. We're gonna start with the Swarm Lord's turn. Round one. Fight. Point casting psychic powers. Because Feel No Pain's ignored by D, so Swarm Lord. This is for you, Andrew. Attack first. It's five attacks. Hitting on threes. Four hits. Sixes to wound, though. One six. Five up in vault. Oh. And then it hits back. Uh, four attacks. Hitting on fives due to the high weapon skill. I think. Uh, Master Crafted. Right. Two hits. What happens on the D table? That's a dead sword lord. Ah! Round one, Wraith Knight. Round two, fight. Swarm Lord goes. Attacks, hit on threes. Wounding on sixes. Nothing. Wraith Knight hits back. Hitting on fives. Whoa! Master crafting. Yeah. Wow. What happens on the Ds? Double. Best of seven. Round two, Wraith Knight. Round three, fight. Five attacks for the Swarm Lord. 
Threes. Those need sixes. Mm. One six. Five of pinball. Oh, it failed it. D3. How many wounds? Two. Two, Two wounds. Ching, 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 ching. Yeah. So, uh, Wraith Lord hits back. Attacks. Fives. Holy moly. Mastercraft. Two weapons on the D table. Dead. Ah! Three. One more. Round three. Wraith Knight. Round four. Fight. Normal attacks. Possibly for the last time in the normal. <laughs> so, five attacks. Threes. That's good. So, uh, sixes. Oh. Nothing. Knight attacks back. Attacks. Holy moly. <laughs> what happens on the three. D table? Three attacks. Dead. Swarm. Ah! A winner of season one face off. Very surprisingly, the Wraith Knight. Please don't flame the video. So there you have it, everyone. It is a Wraith Knight victory. The Wraith Knight is the winner of this season's face off challenge. Now, I know what you're saying. It was an easy guess. However, I should mention to you that after running this particular one, we went back and ran the Wraith Knight against two competitors that were also in this tournament that didn't get a chance to face the Wraith Knight, and both of them actually beat the Wraith Knight. So the Wraith Knight is beatable. That was one of the rules of this tournament. I made sure that anyone can beat another one, and everyone in the tournament can be beaten by another person. Uh, it just so happened that based on strength of schedule, the Wraith Knight was able to get to the finals by not facing anyone that could kill him. And meanwhile, the Swarm Lord uh, did actually knock out one of the ones that could kill him, uh, but the Swarm Lord unfortunately could not put up a fight because of the uh, D, the strength, the, the power of strength D and stomp combined is really unstoppable. And I must reinforce people, there's only like a 10 point difference between the Wraith Knight that was run in this tournament and the Swarm Lord. So point for point, you might argue that the Wraith Knight is the most killy, killable, like the, the craziest killing thing in the game right now, points for points. And I'd probably agree with you. Now, as I said, there were a couple I could probably face them, but the Wraith Knight is extremely strong. So, that's it. That concludes this first season's face-off tournament, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was a lot of fun to run, and I'm going to do it again for sure. I'm going to run with different guys, and I will definitely, I don't mean I'm going to include the Wraith Knight in the next one. I'm going to remove D and then run it again for fun. And I'll include some new characters, and we'll see how it does next week's uh, next season's tournament. With slightly different characters, uh, different schedule, so it'll be really fun. So I really hope you enjoyed this season's face-off. Leave comments in the comment section down below what you think and what your comments are to improve it for next season. So thank you as always for watching. Until next time, this is Jay saying.